Hi guys, Jane Spence here. Um, my friends have been having lots of debates recently regarding Amazon and eBay. And so I've decided to make this video to figure out which one is actually better. Is it Amazon or eBay? Hmm. To be honest, I use both. I mean, why choose one if you can have both, right? Right? Or is it just me? I guess that's why I'm bisexual. Hmm. Anyway, to compare it properly, I think that we should break it down. So, to break it down into what item you need to buy, when do you need the item for, and how much are you willing to spend, money-wise or time and effort-wise. When it comes to what item you need to buy, if you want a wider range of variety to choose from, I think that eBay is the one to go for. eBay has lots and lots of sellers from shops, charity shops, ordinary people like you and me trying to sell their stuff. And they have millions and millions, I think, or thousands and thousands. Um, but the problem is you have to be very careful in choosing which item you go for and which seller you go for. Although eBay is really good when it comes to trying to find something because I don't think I've ever, ever search something on eBay and not be able to find it. Have you? If you have ever typed something on eBay and didn't find it, feel free to comment down below. Um, I'm, I'll be surprised and that will be very educational for me actually because I've, I've just always assumed that you can find everything on eBay and I've never... Um, I think only the like illegal stuff, drugs or um, probably something that's not allowed in your country is not going to be there. But otherwise, I think that eBay is a pl good place to find stuff. Um, Amazon, on the other hand, will have stuff. It's all right. But there are certain things that I tried to find there that I didn't find. So I think. Um, you won't really find everything there. <laughs> That's it. Um, I think this is why the misconception that, oh, Amazon is more reliable than eBay comes because um, Amazon don't really have as much items, as much sellers as eBay. And so, you know... Um, Ratio and pr proportion wise, you know, if you, m the more items you have, the more likely you will have some mistakes, you know, the more likely that you will have this odd dodgy seller. So, um, a lot of people think that eBay is unreliable, but that's not true. I mean, I've bought a lot of stuff on eBay. I've n uh, like, I've never been scammed, although my brother has and um he's the good thing is that he has a paypal so if you're gonna go on ebay have paypal definitely and then you will get your money back so it's not really bad but to be more sure that you won't get scammed just try to really check your seller and try to make sure that you know what you're doing and don't worry i'm gonna make another video Maybe next week I'll release it. I'm going to show you how to buy properly on eBay. And so hopefully that will guide you into not getting scammed. Um, I mean, just to show you, I buy eBay a lot. And, you know, I, I received my items. I've got them. Like that lamp is from eBay. Those flowers are from eBay. That, th that Those two lamps... And the piano is from eBay, that Wii U is from eBay, so like a lot of my items are from eBay. And uh, I think that goes to show, it 
even my phone is from eBay actually. Um, yeah, so that goes to show that, you know, eBay can be reliable as long as you know what you're doing. Um, so, but the problem is, um, when you want something really urgently, because like that, you know, some sellers can be like a person like you and me going through your own lives and then, you know, might not be able to, uh, send the item straight away. I guess you could be lucky and be able to contact the seller and say, actually, I need this item by this time. But then again, you'll have to think about, oh, is the seller going to be able to read it on time? Is the seller going to be able to send it on time, depending on what their work is as well? So when it comes to urgency, so we're going now to when you need the item for, I think that um, Amazon will actually win this round. Because um, Amazon has different options for delivery. They have standard delivery. They have next day delivery. They have they they have twenty four hour delivery. They even have scheduled delivery. Like so, if you know one of our problems when we do online shopping is the fact that sometimes our items arrive when we're at work. And, oh my gosh, such a pain to go to the post office and have to collect it. Anyway, so much easier to just receive it at home, right? So, at least, yeah, Amazon has that option where you can schedule when you want the delivery to arrive. So, which is really good. And not to mention those days when, well, I have had this experience, right? I've been working all day rushing through the day, get home, start cooking, rushing through cooking, have dinner. And while having dinner, one of your kids will tell you, oh, mommy, actually, I have a play in three days and I need a costume. What? I mean, what? Can you believe that? What am I meant to do? The shops are already closed. I've got work the next day. I've, worked, I've got work for the rest of the week. Well, thank God for Amazon because those things are probably... Those things are on there. Yeah, cost, kids' costumes are on Amazon. And this has saved my life a few times because I can opt for a next day delivery. You know what? They even have 24 hours or less. So you can get your item for 24 hours or less, which is really good if you're really rushed. So, but you have to pay more though. So I guess that brings us to the next part of our round, which is how much money are you willing to spend? So, um, if you're not really bothered about spending a little bit more, well, go for Amazon. Because Amazon is the more convenient option. If you buy on Amazon, the chances of you being scammed is very low. And I don't think you can get scammed there. I've never heard anyone getting scammed on Amazon. And also, the delivery delivery is really quick like you have that option to get it really quick so yeah if you if you're you know rich rolling in it go for amazon hmm. but if you're like me who likes cheap stuff you know what i mean not really cheap but i mean if you like getting your money's worth and like, like the feeling of being able to buy something, the same thing, the exact same thing, but for less money. Well, then eBay is the thing for, is the right place for you. I love eBay. I really love eBay just because I love the feeling of being able to buy something, the exact same thing, but for less money. I, I love it. And to be honest with you, going through all the list doesn't really matter to me it's like a game 
I love it. I love looking through all my options. And the only downfall is that you actually need to take your time and you really need to make an effort in looking through the items, looking where they are, setting up the filters, and actually looking at each and every seller or like just look at each seller before you buy it for their feedback for their positive feedback because me personally i don't buy anything less than 100 percent unless if i'm really desperate and that's the only item that i really like then you know i go for the i look at the feedback and check what was the what one percent or how many people that gave them a negative feedback if it's something that doesn't really matter to me it's you know i i risk it but um i'm going to make another video because i love ebay so much i'm gonna make a video on how to buy on ebay watch out for that and i hope that you um, watch it i'm gonna teach you how to do ebay properly so that you don't get scammed and then you'll be able to buy stuff like i do um anyway to sum it all up um if your item is easy to find and it's available on amazon and you're not fussed about spending a little bit more money and you can't be bothered to spend that much time and effort just to save a little bit of money you know amazon is the right place for you um however if you are the type like me who doesn't mind spending a bit of my time and effort you know, looking through that long list of items and checking out the sellers but be able to uh, save more money, then go for eBay. Because to be honest with you, I've compared and compared online whatever I find on Amazon, whatever it is the cheapest i find on amazon i'm definitely sure i will find something cheaper on ebay anyway so to sum it all up i love ebay and um i'm going to for me what i do i always go for ebay if i have enough time unless it's emergency amazon will save me and that's it if you can't relate to any of this because you're someone who likes to save your time and effort and at the same time don't want to spend your money much, well then I've got news for you. You can't have everything, man. Anyway, I'm sorry. I can't help you. So, see you next time, guys. I hope that I see you on my next video where um, I'll teach you how to use eBay and if you like this video please click the like button and if you have any suggestions for me comment down below uh, let me know what you think and um, please share <laughs> so that I get more views and don't forget I'm a ninja without a name. Don't fall in love. Bye.